No way. Our pump is faster than yours. No way. Our pump is flawed. Ready? Puppy racers, ear flopping, dog barking, ball fetching game. Just get your puppy to bring back as many balls as quick as he can. The pup that brings back the most balls wins. The game you'll want to fetch from Parker Brothers. Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Toys, and I'm here today with a pretty simple game, but still kind of a charming one. This is Puppy Racers from. Parker Brothers. It was about 1999 or so when this thing came out. Ages three to six and has two players. Very easy. No reading required. Now that's my kind of game. No, I obviously I can read. I, ho I hope so. But it's a very simple game where you have to press one button to move the pups back and forth and collect as many of the balls from the pit and bring them back to your spot. And whoever gets the most wins. There are five of them that are supposed to be included with this. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to the blue and orange ones, but they somehow are missing from my copy of it. I've had this since I was a kid, and I've played it several times. I just don't know what happened that made them uh, disappear. I'm just trying to reset each of the pups so they're all the way back. That's one thing that's a little difficult is um, trying to set this up is um, they don't always go all the way back because they have a little gear rack system. Basically, when you press each of the buttons down, it, um, it moves this part, this little track in the middle. Each of the pups have a small gear in them that progress them forward. So, to give you some example, you know, that's how it works. That also bops the head around when it hits a side. So, it's pretty simple as far as setting everything up. And also, it does have a squeaker built into where the, the purple button is. I don't think this one's going to work as well for the Dalmatian. Maybe it just got pressed too many times. But, um, no, nah, not really. I, I had it once before when I was trying to set this thing up where it actually got stuck. Where I couldn't press the button. But well, then when I tried to fix it, I don't know exactly what happened. The, uh, maybe a part or two that's not, it's no longer functional. So, it's a very simple game where you just press this, it's, it's a button master, basically. You press this as fast as you can to move each of the pups around. They'll pick up the ball, bring it back here, and then they'll drop it off in this area on the side. So, one over here. So, you know, you can count this down with a friend, and, you know, three, two, well... The, the one thing that's a little difficult is that each of these balls, there is supposed to be five in here I mentioned before, each of these balls sometimes get caught in the track, so it almost makes it like only a certain person can get that one, but um, it's still it's still pretty easy. So three, two, one, go. I'm trying to get the other one in. There we go. And we got a winner. Like I said, it's 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 basically a button masher. There's really not much skill to it. You just have to press it as hard as you can and try to get from one side to the other as fast as possible. There's no timer for it. Just whoever gets the most wins. I really don't know what happened to the other two. I'm sure I'll get them at another time. If you want to get a copy of this nowadays, I don't know what the original Puppy Racers like this goes for on the, the retail market or resale market, but there is an equivalent to it that's available in places like Kmart and Walmart that you could pick up for about $20. And this version is actually based on Paw Patrol from Nickelodeon, like that TV show. It's the basic formula of this thing, a little different in shape for the entire board itself, um, it still uses the button pressing mechanism and the gear thing in the middle, whatever you want to call it. Still has five balls to use, but it's like a little bit shorter. It's a little bit simpler to um, to set it all up. And hopefully that one works a little bit better with the button because I I, I want to, I want to press this one, but I don't know what happened to it. That's the kind of thing I had to like open it up and find out what's wrong or um, try to get replacement parts. But overall, it's pretty simple. Pretty quick. It's meant to be for real young kids, so it's really easy to follow it. And easy for them to play it, you know. It doesn't require a lot of uh, skill or effort to it, which, you know, for younger kids could be, you know, nice and easy, but also kind of charming. I love how every time you press a button, 
it squeaks like the like the pup is actually barking or something like that. Pretty simple, but let me know what you guys think about the game in the comments down below. If you've played this as a kid or maybe had this copy at one point, let me know. We'll see you next time with more Maniac 4 Toys. And I have heard your suggestions from the 20Q video. I will be trying to work on getting a live stream together so we could actually take your suggestions, put them in, and do that as a live stream. I think there'll be a lot of fun to get through it. And maybe you guys can weigh in on the yes-no answers to... Um, the 20 Q's questions. So stay tuned for more information about that. And that will be its own video announcing the live stream. But um, just so you know, I did, re I did read the comments. I responded to many of them. And I am looking forward to that. We'll see you next time with more videos.